Ohayo! My name is Mimitoku and welcome to Finding Paradise part 12. Last time Neil just ejected out of this memory world on his own thought process because like Roxy was like threatening him with some kind of machinery stuff and yeah here we are. We also got the paperwork done and for some reason Rob came along too. So I'm not quite sure what this all means but Let's talk to Sophia first. Huh, you're out early. Just needed to take care of some things. I'm heading back soon. That's good. Bring up Colin's memories. Let's, well, let's get as much info as we can. We're done connecting most of the paths through Colin's memories, by the way. If you'd like, I could tell you about the things we found. I thought that would be considered confidential. Yeah, but you're his wife. I personally think you deserve to know. Was this the right thing to do? Thanks, but I'm okay. Aren't you at least a bit curious about the things we found? Sure, and there was a time when I'd have been dying to know her every detail. But now, I don't think it matters much anymore. Perhaps you know some things I don't. Maybe it even changed my view of things. Still, even then, I'd just be another incomplete piece of reality. And after a lifetime where all is said and done, I feel like the best I could do is to simply stay with the reality I've come to peace with. Huh? What? First of all, what happened exactly? Second of all, piece of reality? Simply stay with the reality? So there, for you, there's multiple realities. Then what? I, 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 I just, don't, I just don't get it. There is, however, something I wanted to ask, only because I feel like it's meant for me. Did you find anything about why Colin put this book here, and like this? No, I was actually gonna ask you. Uh, I was actually gonna ask you about it. He He's had it for a long time now, but he kept on replacing its pages. Why would you replace pages in a book? Unless the casing of the book is meaningful to you and not that what, what's written inside. And now? It's just filled with pieces of blank paper. If you find something about it that's meant for me, please do let me know. That's all I ask. Understood. I'll keep an eye out for it. Okay, so he's been replacing those pages one by one? Hey, wait. Dr. Watts, right? I know I haven't been the most welcoming, and you probably know why by now. But I know you're just here to do your job. So thank you for helping him. I guess I didn't quite find out why she's not that welcoming, but sure, you're welcome. Yeah. No hard feelings. I kind of don't see why. Maybe it's just because my memory is hazy because I had a long break in recording sessions. So I hope we're gonna find out what she meant by that. A model of small fl fixed wing aircraft. Okay, yep. I looked at these. So, can I go outside? 
and it's night time. Oh well, so... Where's Eva? Is that her? Over here? Taking a breather, huh? Paperwork, mostly. How's he looking? Colin's okay so far, but you guys sure are stirring things up in there. Stirring things up? What do you mean? It's his brain activity. It's been abnormally high for a sedated patient. Try not to aggravate him too much in there. Why would it... Why would it be higher than normal? Wait, what? But we haven't been doing anything different compared to any other patient. Hey, I'm only telling you what I see. Anyway, just try to keep it in mind. I'll continue to monitor his sta status. So, there's definitely something going on inside of Colin's head. Um, hey, may I talk to you in private for a moment? Uh, well, sure. Alright, come on. What's up? There's something I wanted to ask you. It's about my father's wish and what you saw in there. You know that it's confidential, right? Yes, but... You must know what it's like being the family of a patient undergoing this procedure. To be honest, my mother was always against it, and I wasn't a big fan either. But if father were to take on a new life worth of memories, well, knowing what and why would at least help me come to terms with it. So please, could you tell me? Well, we didn't find out anything in particular that I could just like give you, but what should I do here? What and why? Let's tell him. Uh, you know, your father actually wished for something completely unremarkable. He just asked to be happy, that's all. I guess he certainly isn't, huh? Well, you shouldn't look at it that way. People are always gonna have cravings and longings for what is. He's just curious about grass on the other side of the fence, that's all. As humans are. I suppose so. But hey, he really does ask for you and your mother to stay as part of his new life. Hope that helps for what it's worth. Thanks, Doc. Good luck with the rest of it. I hope something works out. We'll do what we can. As always. So we didn't reveal much. But I hope we could help. We helped Asher to some degree. Maybe I should check in with Eva first. Hi there. She's not gonna hear me like this. I need to use the machine. So, like this? System online. View connection status. So, Dr. Eva Rosaline. Near link. So, but wait. While you're in there, you don't have any control from the outside. Oh, what's going on? Well, you can you can eject yourself. But as Roxy walked in, she just like pushed buttons and was able to talk to them inside. That's a scary thought because like the family could have done so with enough knowledge, that is. So establish communication. Hey Eva, do you hear me? Neil? Yep, how's it going in there? Just trying to find the last memory link. Still? There was only one left. Yeah, I, I just... I don't know. I've looked everywhere. 
But the scan shows there's one more here somewhere. I'm gonna find it. Are you done with the paperwork? Well, I just... What was that? Neil? Damn it. Where are my pills? Neil? Oh, I'd better not have left them in the car again. Hey, you still there? Sorry, I'm not finished with the paperwork yet. Uh, how long does it take to fill and sign some papers? It's uh, I'm almost ready. I'll come back as soon as it's done. Alright, just make it quick. So, wait. Neil's suffering from some condition. Is he addicted to something? Did that machine do something to him? I have no idea. But I guess uh, Roxy might be aware of something. Do I need to? Yeah, I need to click there. Like a normal elevator, you know? So let's go down the car to the car and look for those medications. Hey, mister! Oh, hi, potato. I knew you'd come by here. Oh, it's you again. Thanks for kicking Amber's doll into the pond for me. I really appreciate it. Uh, yeah, is that your mother? It's okay. I hope you traumatized that kid. She's been picking on my potato for years. It's time she learned her lesson. Oh, wow. <laughs> that mother. And now that I got an even smaller potato, I was really starting to worry about the future. Smaller potato? Are you pregnant? You named your other kid Potato too? Of course not. Don't be silly, it's just a nickname. His real name's Spot. Seriously? Oh, by the way, the front desk man said you're here to visit old man Colin. You know Colin? Yeah, he once literally beat up Amber for me. Did I use that word right, ma'am? Oh dear, you meant figuratively. Oh, ah. But what else? So anyways, last week Colin gave me his leftover jar of lemon juice. I haven't seen him since then though. Could you please give it back to him? Wait, lemon juice? What for? To write spy messages, of course. Oh. There we have it. It's invisible ink. I've already written two secret letters to spot for when he can read good. Oh man, Colin said he was already done using it, so I could borrow the whole jar if I wanted. Oh. Huh. Lucky me. So, could you give the chair back to Colin? Oh, well, sure. Uh, well, I don't think Colin needs it anymore. You could probably keep it. Wally, thanks. I'm gonna write a letter to myself. Okay, potato. It's time to head back home. Oh, all right. Who is this? Eva? Are you calling from the machine? Yeah, at least uh, this function is still working normally. What happened? Hey, listen, I think I might have figured out something about Colin's notebook. That's not important. Right now I need you to check something for me. Uh, what? Bye! What happened in there? Is everything o going okay in there? Did you find that last memory link? No. Are you at a computer? I can be. Good. Could you run a record search on Faye and check for any aviation accidents? So that's what happened. You think she was in a plane crash? I just want to rule the possibility of something out. 
I'll send you her extracted profile. There's enough data even without last name. Let me know when you have the results. Okay. Your pills. What are you doing? Hello! Hey, Rox, you're still on your laptop, right? Yep, yep. I just forwarded a profile to you. Mind helping me running a record check? Sure. Mind telling me what you're up to with the machine? Um, okie dokie, Loki pokey. It's settled then. I'll call you back with the results. <laughs> okay, so at least we got someone to check face profile and do some research about her. But yeah, something definitely how do i get out of here ah there the arrows are just so faint so let's just go to the car for now but again hey eva i'm still working on the neil can you hear me uh yes hello are you there i'm right here what is it neil if you can hear me listen i don't think she Eva? Are you still there? Weird. The car must be mal malfunctioning. Something is definitely going uh, on inside there. i fix it as soon as I get back. So I guess we need to... I don't think I can go back because Neil wants his medication and I think he will refuse to go upstairs again but something is definitely wrong wait a minute oh that's a nice bike sure wish I had one like it oh gosh like so many things are happening now but like I mean, that, that's how things go in real life too, like, you're just going your way and, like, in the meantime, something is happening to someone you know and they, they might be in great distress, but you don't, like, notice it. But something, you, sh you, you could tell something's off, Neil. Eva, what happened earlier? No, it's Roxy, you still, p still a putty? Oh. Uh, so how's the record search going? Yeah, how's that going? Oh, it's just going great. Actually, no, it's not great at all. Well, what Rob's saying is that it depends on your perspective. What? Is it a yes or no question? Did she die in a play cr plane crash or not? Well... Well, what? So, here's the great part. There's no plane crash to her record, so you won't have to worry about that. Sheesh. Why didn't you just say so? Something else is... A simple no would have sufficed. But, like, something else happened to her. Ah, oh, gosh, my nose is itching again. Well, that's not all, though. The thing is... Not only is there no plane crash, there's nothing else to her record either. Wait, so, so she never existed? In fact, there is no record of Faye. As in, no record available to public domain? As in, no record in existence anywhere. We've checked the co cumulative public record, the private private ID network databases even. Well, even a few places that we technically don't have access to. Still, there is no record of her for anything, no death, not even birth. Oh. Oh. 
So, unless Colin's got some extreme form of disordered amnesic condition... He doesn't, I checked. Yeah, so... He has multiple personalities then? Oh, sorry, I got another call. Hello? Or he is hallucinating. And Neil got his pills. So what the heck is going on here? Even if it was just someone like me. Someone like me. What the heck? Hey, where are you two going? Company call. We got another patient going live across town. Yeah, gotta hop. Sorry, Neil. Night call, huh? Should have taken a nap. Yeah, we're all used to it by now. Seems like you've got a handful to sort out yourself, huh? Yes. If what we yielded means what I think it means, you might be in for a tricky evening. At least from our experience, patients capable of that tend to be rather peculiar cases. Capable of what? I've read the patient's case, by the way. Care for a word of advice? Well, you're probably gonna give it anyway, so... I don't know the details of Colin's life, but this reminds me of a case where we've, done, where we've done. Just try to remember that making someone happy isn't only about finding the answers. It could also be about shaping the question. What question? Anyhow, good luck. What the heck? By the way, don't think you're getting off the hook easy. After this is done, you've got some explaining to do, don't you? Ah, uh, yeah. And it's gonna be so much fun. <laughs> See ya, I'm looking forward to it. Bye. Oh wait, something just occurred to me. Although I'm not sure why yet. I don't know... I do know that you removed the machine stabilizer. But with the patient's subconsciousness being neurowired to the system's processor... Well, I hope you got a backup plan if he's able to get around its single thread firewall. So wait, without the stabilizer? Wait a second. So they... <laughs> that, that scared me there for a second. Good gosh. Can I get the paperwork? No. But it's like... Stop scaring me! Can I... I need those notes. Where's the book? I need those notes. It's not here anymore. Sophia, where did you take that book? Maybe he has multiple personalities and is able to produce one or two or more of them. And those might be able to get into the machine and do stuff like it, that happened before. That would also explain those figures Eva saw. Uh, hey, Sophia, I think I found... We can't talk later. Please head back in there for now. Seems like something's gone wrong. Doctor? Hey, you might want to get back in there. What happened? A spike in brain activity. Even more so than before. I don't know what, but something's going on in there. Yeah, I'm back. In, I'm heading back in to check with Eva. And what do you have to say? Hey, I think I saw your partner spasming just then. Is something wrong? Of course not. We got this. Don't worry. I'm going back in there now. Okay, I'm counting on you, Eva. Her forehead's covered in cold sweat. Can I co com contact her? 
connection status? Error? Uh, do you hear me, Eva? I'm coming back in. Are you still there? No response. I hope this thing just doesn't explode on us. We are ready. Come on. The book is nowhere to be found. I would have liked to check that book. But I think we have now other things to take care of. Also, X2 was incredibly short. So, where is Eva? Eva? Hello? It's probably best to provoke anything before figuring out what's going on. I should find Eva first. Ooh. That's some creepy m music there. Did I hear something? I mean, it's a title theme, but it's distorted. So what the heck is going on in here? Memento second. Finding Eva first. So that would be the memento then. So where's Eva? Was she attacked by Faye or somebody else? Wait, something's different with the Colin avatar. What's different? What's different about you? Huh? It flashes. The link to his timeline's overworld got unlocked. Even if Eva is not here anymore, it'd be easier to look for her from there. Can I? I can't go in here, right? Nope. Okay, so overworld it is then. Enter overworld. So what? What happened here? I. Okay. So we can hop around from here. Eva? Are you here? Probably not. And you changed into your ghost form. Every memory of calling that with peace together so far. She's got to be in one of them. So in which one? Scan for activity. Not detected. And no, do not take any other action. I just want to find Eva. Not detected. Where could she be? I mean, there's a weird spiral around here, so maybe she's in here. The vortex of the anomaly that's been bouncing us around. I guess it's near the memory we left off at. Scan? Not detected. Scan? Not detected. Not here either. Where is she? Not detected. So she must be here then. She isn't. Dang a bit. How can she be in the machine but nowhere in the memories? Unless... System, narrow down Eva's most recent pos position. She is in there. Yeah, she was in there. Well, the freaking Bermuda Triangle. So we need to enter here then. Guess it's back to the crime scene. So sh she must be somewhere. But what what Roxy said, just there, like about that single thread firewall. Oh, we see the menu. System, load up all available recordings from here. 
So we see now what Eva did. Okay, that's... That's where Neil head out. Wait, what? Thirty-six. Flipping corn cobs. How can this one memory link be so hard to find? And that idiot sure is taking his sweet time. Wait a minute. That's... That's the last thing? Are you at a computer? Good. Could you run a record search in Faye and check for any aviation accidents? So what... What happened in those four minutes, six minutes? Did you s figure something out? I just want to rule the possibility of something out. 42? 44? Neil? Can you hear me? Hello? Are you there? Neil, if you can hear me. Listen, I don't think she's real. Yep, that's what he found found out too. But what happened? What happened right after this one? She's... She's all in his head and something strange is happening. Hello? Say something. Faye vanished. What the heck was that shadow coming from the tree? And Collins now vanished too. There, it's glitching. Goosebumps. Okay, the whole world is glitching. Hello? Uh-oh. What is this? Faye? You. Whoa. Holy cow. What did you do to Eva? What the crap? <gasps> what the crap is this? She's looking like a zombie. Damn it. This isn't even a freaking shot of patient I signed up for. Oh gosh, all of a sudden this turns into a freaking horror game. What do you want? Leave. We, we can't leave, this is our job. Colin signed for us to be here. He changed his mind. Leave. You don't belong here. Fine. You want to play hardball? Let's pray. play freaking hardball. What are you doing, Neil? You may have the host subconsciousness, but I still... I am still the admin of this world. Ah, that was a freaking cool scene. Just imagine that happening in a real movie. I never thought I'd have to do this, to use this, but you leave me no choice. On with this cool music. Ah, oh, it's time to show you my true power. Are you are you going to transform into Super Saiyan? It doesn't work. This gesture controlled interface is a terrible idea. <laughs> there we go. You're turning into Super Saiyan with Sailor Moon capabilities. Wait, no, this time it's Saint Seiya. 
Or the superhero genre. Holy cow! <laughs> I've never seen Saint Seiya, by the way. But somehow this reminds me of it. Either way, it's really cool. A really, really cool transformation sequence. <laughs> and all this done in an RPG Maker game. If you think I'm going to show mercy, you'd be sadly mistaken. Give up now, and maybe I'll. <laughs> Destroyed by a memory link. <laughs> nice. And he just took it again. Please leave. Bye now. <laughs> Dang a bit. All this cool transformation scene to be destroyed by a memory link. This is so not what I built that back door for. I guess even my code needs testing before practical use. I guess especially your code. Uh, and what the heck happened to Eva? I need to get to, to the bottom of this. Note, Faye. And now with the intense music again. Not exactly the girl across the balcony. So it's red up here. I guess we're in for an adventure. Whoa, 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 we are walking way faster now. So I guess we need to find Faye now. We need to find her and do something. I'll also find Eva. I guess when we find Faye, we find Eva too. And... Faye is just like a made-up character by Colin's mind, so... Does he have multiple personalities then? I wish I knew what was in, written in that book. We need those notes. Maybe I can... Nope, I can't. I can't do anything to this book. So we need to get to the real world again. And then do something to the book. Wow. Anyway, that was really intense. And it's not a tragedy just yet. But I think there might be one coming up. About Faye... And I, I, I don't know what to think of this yet, because there's so many info still missing. But I guess we'll find this out over the course of the, I guess, third half? Third half, yes, that's the third half. Over the third part of the story. Well, the second act was like, just sh really, really short, like two minutes or something. But... I'm not quite sure, is this a three act story or a four act story? Maybe a three, so at least we're in the end game now. And I hope it's not gonna be too dramatic. But I like the, the scene re really, really much. First with the horror thing and then with the superhero thing. Because as you know, I'm, I'm a great fan of superhero stuff. Especially the Japanese ones, and this just looked like a, a transformation scene from one of those. Ah, oh, so nicely done, so nicely done with all the music and stuff. I really, really appreciate it. So anyway, thanks everybody so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Until then, stay true to yourselves. Us.